Hey everybody, what's going on? This is KDK Kiel Dyken. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a quick EEPROM update with for your Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte model. Uh, this will also work on the Raspberry Pi 4, so this should just be a quick tutorial, quick knockout. Um, the file that I'm going to use uh, to uh, make this method possible is called the Supreme uh, EEPROM Updater. This will come out with Supreme Ultra in probably a few more weeks or so. Uh, we're just waiting. I'm just waiting for the go ahead to go ahead and release it. And then, of course, you know, other various sources like Arcade Punks and other people will uh, have access to this as well. But I just want to go ahead and show you guys the method that I use to EEPROM update my Raspberry Pi 4, my 4 gigabyte model and my 8 gigabyte model. Now, I do want to let you guys know that the first time that I did this, I guess there was a hiccup and it caused some issues. In fact, um, even while I was beta testing Supreme Ultra, which has three front ends, or four actually, four boot sectors, I have uh, Pixel, uh, I also have uh, Emulation Station, the Track Mode, and Pegasus. And for whatever reason, for many weeks and a couple of months, I was not able to access Pegasus. And I had demonstrated that and showed that to you guys on my channel. So come to find out the reason why it wasn't working was because there was a bad EEPROM flash. And so uh, just want to let you guys know if this isn't done correctly, um, there is a possibility that it could cause some issues. It won't mess up your Pi. I do know there's other videos out there that could potentially cause you guys to really mess up your Pi, but um, essentially you want to do this at your own risk. So let's go ahead and get us to this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy it and we'll take a look at it. All right, so here we have WinDisk 32 Imager. This is the file that we're gonna use is the Supreme EEPROM updater tool. This has not been released publicly. The file size is about 2.5 or 2.6 gigabytes in size. So all you really need is either a 16 or a 32 gigabyte SD card in order to burn this image. And uh, you're just gonna burn this just like you would any normal RetroPie image uh, that you guys have here. Uh, this takes a few minutes. Um, I have had difficulties in the past where I uh, had a bad EEPROM update and one of the uh, front ends wouldn't load correctly. So uh, you guys can uh, burn this multiple times without uh, having any issues. I mean, one should be sufficient, but if in case you guys are noticing any funny business whatsoever, you guys can go ahead and burn the image. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on over to our Raspberry Pi 4 eight gigabyte model. We're gonna go ahead and switch screens here and begin the process. So we're going to insert our SD card and go ahead and boot up. And once you boot up your Raspberry Pi 4, you're going to see this initial message called EEPROM Updater Tool. Now, uh, one of the other things you will need to have is a keyboard. Make sure you guys go ahead and have that plugged in. You won't be able to use your control because we're not fully into RetroPie or any other uh, front end the only thing that will be recognized at this point will be your keyboard All right, so once it boots up you guys will see this command prompt here Telling you to please insert a keyboard so you can continue to the next step You want to go ahead and press enter hit ok and once you do that you're presented with three different options The third option from the bottom is turn off your pie. We don't need to do that The first one is go ahead and update your EEPROM and the second option here is uh, you can check the current version of your EEPROM. So we're going to go ahead and select that just so you guys can see uh, what version I do have. This will just take a few seconds. You guys can just, um, just take note of it. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and update our EEPROM, our EEPROM. We're going to go select number one and then press OK. And then this will just take a couple of minutes. Now, once this is done burning and updating your EEPROM, typically it should shut off your Pi normally or shut it down just by itself. 
without having you to go back in and reboot anything. Now, I definitely want to stress, make sure you guys do this at your own risk. I've done this a number of times. I haven't had any problems on any of my Pi devices. But again, uh, there are some ways to fix the issue. I'm not going to cover that here in this video if you guys happen to have any mistakes. But I do know this method is probably the best method as far as updating your EEPROM. Now, the only thing I really haven't tested is if this will work with other images or uh, front, ends, uh, front ends like uh, Raspbian OS or anything. Uh, primarily, I use this for RetroPy only and using it for the Supreme builds uh, for my own personal use, but it should work for uh, any other image or any other type of front end as long as it's been updated as well and EEPROM capable. Pi Supreme Ultra loaded on a brand new Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gigabyte model uh, with my own custom splash screen just loading. Again, guys, this is KDK. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you guys found this review uh, hope, uh, helpful. Uh, Supreme Ultra should be out. I mean, I know there's a not, well, there's no hiccups or anything, but uh, you know there was a delay with the updates. We're still checking a few things. So, um, well, not us checking some few things, but the team is fully checking some things. I just wanted to go ahead and put out this tutorial uh, in case that in case that when it does come out, uh, you guys are fully prepared and knowledgeable about how to upgrade your EU problem and a little bit more familiar with it. So again, guys, this is Keel Daikin. Catch you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you later.